Finally, we get to upload the shirt and see it in world. First, let's make the alpha layer. Start by uploading the alpha file just made in GIMP. Go to build, upload, image. And upload. Okay. Go to the plus sign. Go to new close, new alpha. You can name it. Right click to wear it. And then let's go right click and push edit. Click the checkbox and then click inside. Browse for the file. And then we want to save. And click this to get out of that window. Now at this point we want to upload our model. So we go build, upload, model. You want to pick your highest LOD. And that's this file for me. First I want to do some file cleanup here. Do that one more time. Get my highest LOD. Okay. And there's the file. Remember that you get the biggest savings if each LOD has a fourth less triangles than the one before it. Bear in mind that you can have up to four custom LODs if you want. You can actually have no LODs other than the first one if you want, but that will cost you big with the prim costs here. You can also mix custom LODs with auto generated ones. Just remember that auto generated LODs usually don't look very good. Remember that the average user will see the medium LOD of a worn mesh the most. Alright. And that's the auto generated LODs. They don't look that great. So let's put in our custom ones. Click D2 there. Click load. Load compile. Lowest. Load compile. Okay. You can see the skin weights in action. See that the shirt's on opposed skeleton now. Let's make sure we go over here and check skin weights. We need to have that checked. I'm also going to up the scale to 50. This 50 will only affect it when it's raised on the ground. You can't scale a rig mesh while it's warm. So this will have no effect when it's warm. All right. So just for demonstration, let's calculate the weights without adjusting physics tab right now. By default, it will just add a convex hull for this shape. And as you see, the prim cost is too much because the physics cost is too high. And the prim equivalence will always be the highest of these three numbers. So let's bring that physics down by adding our simple physics shape. Big that one. Yeah. T-shirt physics. Okay. Make sure that this is still checked. Sometimes it becomes unchecked when you change that. And now we have a much lower PE cost, but physics is not a factor now. And we're going to go make sure, just make sure everything is still checked. Skin weights, we have our physics, we have our LTs. Now we can upload.
Now we just right click and wear it like anything else. It defaults to worn on the right hand, but you can move it if you want to. Now, put a texture on it. You can raise it to the ground if you want, but you also can put the texture on it while you're wearing it. It's hard to select it, so sometimes you have to click something else like your hair or your shoes or something. And then you can go and left click it. Drag over a texture. And you're good to go. And you might want to test it out with animation or a dance or two. And that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.